good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's seven twenty-six. We're late. Uh, it's twenty-seven degrees outside. We are going to do a race here. I got my uh, other pilot fetchers here. Um, we are going to try to race. I've laid out a track in a small parking lot, with a couple of chicanes, uh, a breezeway, and then a split S turn over a car uh, thing. You'll see. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. It's stupid cold. My batteries are warming in the car, and we're going to get. I think we're going to fly two minutes a pack just to be safe. And <laughs> I was uh, yesterday. It was 33 degrees. Ooh, balmy. And we were having trouble with the uh, battery. So today, uh, inaugural race in the frigidness. I, I doubt we'll get more than two packs in before we call it. Uh, but you know, there's no snow. This is in North Dakota or anything like that. Brought my cheerleader. Woohoo! Uh, make sure I win. Is um, something else that's purple. I'll take a picture here before we launch. Three, two, one, go. Well, something didn't work with me. Try again. Keep racing, man. <laughs>
you're going under, I went, ah! and then you went, <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> parking lot race conclusion um conclusion one don't hit a tree and explode your zaomi yep good job um conclusion two make the track less um insane because breezeways explode quads he made a new track which kind of worked <laughs> so we didn't actually fly the same circuit but we eventually after two batteries um finished laps of something <laughs> so i'll call that a successful race the winner is well no one can feel their hands so yep. everyone loses um, and I had some interesting fail safes. The, the coffee stirrers that are shrink wrapped to hold my antennas in place have cracked in the cold, and I started the fail safe, uh, which was, which was kind of cool. That part where at least I uh, slammed into the ground. So, yeah. Uh, not only were my antennas looking a little scraggly and, you know, angled on the quad after the cold, um, but my Tyrannus battery is super low. And I'm not sure if that was those two combined gave me a fail safe at a range of about 40 feet. But the, uh, yeah, the Tyrannus battery said it dropped to 4 volts, so it's, it's just fucking cold out here. It should be, what, 7.4 nominal, usually? So, um, I was going to fly another battery, and then I took a look at the Tyrannus voltage and said, it's not worth it.